So now we're going to look at another set of proteins where they begin being translated out in the cytoplasm and then they're going to end up in the mitochondria. So remember the mitochondria is another separate organelle within the body and it's known as the powerhouse of the cell, right? This is where ATP gets generated and where cellular respiration occurs. So with these proteins that are destined for the mitochondria, what happens is that they are translated in their entirety out in the cytoplasm. But they do not fold up and they do have a signal sequence. But this signal sequence does not tell them to go to the ER or to the nucleus, but tells them to go to the mitochondria. We call this signal sequence the MTS. And that stands for either the matrix targeting sequence or the mitochondrial targeting sequence. Okay? Now remember the basic anatomy of the mitochondria. We had an outer membrane, an inner membrane, the matrix, and then between the outer and inner membrane was that intermembrane space. So all these components are important when we talk about how these proteins get in. Now remember the experiment on post-translation. That was about these proteins that go to the mitochondria. So in the post-translation experiment, we demonstrated that proteins destined for the mitochondria are fully translated out in the cytoplasm, but then they remain unfolded, and then they get taken to the mitochondria. And now let's see exactly that step-by-step -step mechanism of how that happens. So here's our image here illustrating this. So again, the protein gets made, and it's represented here by these blue pearls. And then at the end, at the end terminus, is the signal sequence. In this case, it's called the MTS, the mitochondrial targeting sequence. Okay. And then what happens is that this protein, in order to get into the mitochondria, has to remain unfolded. So in order to keep the protein from folding up out in the cytoplasm, we get the help of these chaperone proteins. These chaperone proteins are called heat shock proteins. One of these heat shock proteins whose job it is is to keep the protein unfolded is called HSC70. Okay, so this is the heat shock protein number 70 and its job is to bind to the protein and keep it unfolded. So just keep it as a chain of amino acids. The next thing that's going to happen then is that this protein is going to get taken to the outer membrane of the mitochondria. On the outer membrane of the mitochondria, there is a import receptor. This import receptor recognizes and will bind to the MTS, the mitochondrial targeting sequence. Just adjacent to this import receptor, is a translocon. Remember we saw translocons on the ER membrane when the ribosome docked, the translocon opened up, allowing the protein to go through. Same thing here, except the translocon opens up when the receptor has bound to the protein's MTS. So the protein comes in, it binds to the import receptor, this causes the translocon to open up, and now the protein just simply goes through and it's going to go through this translocon and it's because it's on the outer membrane this is called the translocon of the outer membrane also abbreviated as TOM and this TOM has a number and this guy's name is TOM40 so TOM40 is the translocon on the outer membrane so TOM opens up and the protein goes through now because it has an MTS, and MTS normally stands for matrix targeting sequence, this protein still has a ways to go. So it's only gotten through the outer membrane, it's in the intermembrane space, but it still has to get to the matrix. So to get to the matrix, you have to go through the inner membrane, and again there's another translocon on the inner membrane, and, and this is called TIM. 2317. So this is the translocon of the inner membrane. So now TIM will open up because again this protein has the matrix targeting sequence. So it's got the backstage pass to keep going. So TIM opens up and the protein continues to come through. And again this remains 
straight chain because of the chaperone proteins. So again, we see other chaperone proteins. We see a version of the cytoplasmic heat shock protein number 70, also in the matrix. So this stays bound to the protein, keeping it unbound until the whole thing comes through. Once the protein reaches its final destination inside of the matrix, the signal uh, is cut off, so we cut off the MTS, and now the protein is going to start folding up. And in order to help with that, we have additional heat shock proteins. So the pro chaperone proteins that help fold up the protein once in the matrix is called HSC60, heat shock protein number 60. So this heat shock protein is found inside the matrix and helps the protein to fold up. Okay, again, in brief, this protein that's destined to go to the mitochondria is translated in its entirety out in the cytoplasm. Heat shock number 70 out in the cytoplasm keeps the protein stretched out, so unfolded. It then goes to the mitochondria outer membrane where it binds to the outer membrane receptor. This receptor is located next to a translocon on the outer membrane, so TOM. TOM40 opens up. The protein snakes through. Because it has a matrix targeting sequence, it has to go through TIM, the additional uh, inner membrane translocon. And once it reaches the final destination of the matrix, we cleave off the MTS, and heat shock proteins such as number 60 will take over and start to fold up this protein.